Hello everybody and welcome to a news video on Jumputi Heroes. My name is Scarface King. We have a story event coming up and I wanted to quickly jump into a video and uh, and cover what we know so far, which is quite a lot to be fair. Um, to start things off, um, I want to remind people, I've, I've done this, I've posted this on the site, but um, the database is now part of OCHD.co.uk. It is no longer OriginalContentHD.com. Um, so if you're still using OriginalContentHD.com, eventually that's going to be completely retired. Um, right now the Jumpooty database is still up there, but it's not up to date. Um, so please do start using the new links. I'll put them in the description. Um, and soon OriginalContentHD.com will not be, will not have anything on it at all. It will just redirect or something. I haven't decided what I'm doing with it yet. But let's get into the actual news. So first things first, we have the 99 luck upgrades if you if you've been playing for the last few months you should know about this basically with the characters you get to 99 luck obviously it got to a point where most people would have had a good coverage a few characters 99 luck of each type to, to the point that they no longer needed to keep farming the 99 lucks unless they did something very specifically good um so they introduced a new mechanic in order to make that uh, th that farming a bit more profitable, I guess. Um, farming characters to 99 luck would now give um, improved stamina recovery time, upgraded friend point gacha, and additional daily rewards, depending on how many characters you've got to 99 luck. And now, the newest bonus, we've actually got a bunch of new bonuses, um, but the newest bonus is for 28 max luck characters, they will add Goku Dada Hayato from Kotekyo Hitman Reborn to the friend point gacha. So you don't get him, <laughs> you have to you still have to summon for him with friend points. Um, but if you can get to 28 max up characters, which should be attainable for most people, maybe down the line. Uh, I know a lot of the players, you know, like myself who have been playing for a long time, will already be comfortably past 28. Um, but there will be those players out there that have started more recently you will get there don't worry we get plenty of opportunities to get max luck characters you will get there in pretty much no time at all um let's talk about the actual story event though so we have a live stream for the story event on the 28th uh it's the 27th i'm recording this but it will actually be the 28th in japan but when the actual live stream is on which will be the 28th in the uk where i am as well um, I'm going to be out at that time, so there might be some hype announcements, uh, I'll, I'll cover any of those once I get back tomorrow um, on the website possibly, definitely on Twitter and in the Discord, I'll link both of those in the description, um, but you know, we'll, we'll see what comes from that, um, and that live stream I'll also have linked in the description, or you can just click on the post which will be linked and and you'll be able to uh, see what I'm seeing here, which is a link to the YouTube live stream. Um, they have mentioned that one of the rewards they're going to give as part of this live stream is going to be a Bleach ticket, a Bleach gacha ticket, which in theory guarantees you one Bleach unit. Unfortunately, Rukia is a Bleach unit and she's a four star, so there's a good chance that she is going to be your Bleach unit. But we don't know how many of these tickets we're going to get. Um, and we don't know what the situation is going to be with them giving it out to us. Are they going to have to do something on the stream? Or are we going to have to do something as a viewer? We don't really know just yet. Um, moving on to the... This page up, page, page down is just spoiling everything, whatever. Um, the red and blue campaign is basically just all the islands you need in order to buff up your red and blue units are going to be on. Make sure you take advantage of this. It's very easy to pull new units and forget to level up their skills, forget to get them to 6 star, forget to get them to level 99, and then later those are going to be useful and no luck, you know. Um, they do this, they've done this for a reason. Uh, there is a specific red and green event that will require um, at least some effort put into your red and blue units in order to beat those stages. So please do at least have a go at um, getting your red and blue units all buffed up. Um, moving on, 
we have the limited gacha Ichigo, who looks pretty cool, but at the same time, it is just kind of version 1 Ichigo sprite, and they've just stuck a mask on and coloured in the eyes. Not to say that, you know, that's that's true to the manga, to be fair. Um, it's just... Uh, I think a lot of people thought that when we got a limited Ichigo, it'd probably be Mugetsu. Not that this is a bad thing, I mean... Look, I think with with Super Saiyan 3 Goku, with with Gear 4 Luffy, um, and with I, uh, I guess like Adult Gone, I, I don't know how many other characters you you would say this for, but with a lot of the early limited characters, they've done like a massive time skip forward for that character, and I think the reason they did that is so they had a bunch of hype limited units to draw people in when events come around, um, and those units still remain really good units so it's a really nice way of doing it i think and how exactly is it going to be moving forward i think we're going to see a lot of that you know we saw gear 2 luffy come out after gear 4 luffy um i think they're just going to be like taking little steps from now on and that's fine maybe for some series you know they're realistically not going to get multiple banners so it'll be different for those series but for a series like Bleach, which is one of the biggest series in Shonen Jump of all time, and it's definitely done enough to earn itself a story quest, well, I guess in their case, they take a small step now so they can take another small step later, and that's... Uh, how many Ichigos are we going to get? I don't know, but if you've played Bleach Brave Souls, you know there's, 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 there's some definite potential for a lot of Ichigos. Um... Unity Battle and Versus Tower, we have no new information from the data download on Unity Battle versus Tower. I would say at this point I'm 90% confident that Aizen will come back and he will be obtainable, but he wasn't in this data download because he will be in the next data download, which will be on Thursday probably. So I'm hoping that's the case. I, I'm fairly confident that that will be the case because that's what the other story quest events did, basically. Uh, Yu Yu Hakusho didn't, but, um, you know, One Piece and Dragon Ball definitely did. So, same again would be would be more than acceptable. Um, it would be annoying if Aizen wasn't obtainable, I will say that. Um, with Versus Tower, the one little bit of information we do know is that um, this next season coming up, um, well not, sorry, this next week of Tower, which is the last round of the test season of Tower, um, is going to be the last season like this, and they're going to be giving us more information on what's happening with the next season very soon. Um, I, I've said this uh, to other people, I think chances are what we're going to see is them moving towards the profitability of Tower. As it stands, probably not that profitable. Um, but, you know, you can see the battle medals, the battle medal exchange, the player ranking system, and the bonus characters. Uh, how that's essentially going to work out is once a player gets to floor 20, they continue to play to get an improved ranking. And getting an improved ranking will get you battle, battle medals, which you can use to buy cool stuff in the battle medal exchange, including tower characters like Terry Man, like whoever gets added after that. Um... And the bonus characters are probably going to be a case of something similar to the um, point boosters for certain events we've had in the past, like the Medica Box event. Um, and I mean, basically any event where you're gathering like an item, you're collecting lots of an item. Something similar to that. They might release character. They might have a character in the tower, and then a character from the same series in a gacha, and that character in the gacha is not countering the unit from the tower but helping you get that unit from the tower by boosting point gain in um, in the tower game mode. So, something to bear in mind. Um, I don't know if that will be the case, but that's that's what I'm thinking. Um, we have the Bleach Side A gacha, which, <sighs> out of the two, there's two, by the way, out of the two, looks the weakest to me. Um... I have an issue a little bit with all of these characters sort of comfortably fitting into the Hueco Mundo Invasion arc, except Renji. You could make an argument that that Orihime is kind of prior to Hueco Mundo, 
but Renji is from the fucking last arc in the manga, and it's just kind of a massive step forward. Like all of these scenes are from the Hueco Mundo invasion arc, except Uri, uh, except Renji. Um, same thing with Side B, but Side B is going to be one of those gacha that's. I think I think people are just going to go ham on this because Toshiro and Yoroichi, two of the most popular characters in all of Bleach. Um, I, you know, I'm happy Yoroichi is Thousand Year Blood War, but that might be an indicator that we're only getting one copy of her. I'm a bit disappointed that Toshiro is not Thousand Year Blood War, but that might be an indication we will get more than one version of him. So, uh, you know, give and take. There's give and take there. Um, I'm tempted to pull on both to be honest, but it is a bit tricky because I do have Ichigo already. That being said, people that don't have Ichigo, this is a great time to get him. He is a really good unit. And I mean, all in all, it comes together quite well because Ichigo is going to be good at least for Byakuya. Um, but on top of that, I have a feeling that Uryu is going to counter a specific event. And then the limited each go is going to counter a specific event. So it's just an opportunity for people to get each go. He kind of probably should have been a launch unit and wasn't and whatever. But that means he's actually better than quite a few of the launch units. Um, or at least in specific stages he is better than um, a lot of the launch units. So I don't know. Um, I'm happy with these two gacha. Anyway. Um, it does kind of throw things up in the air with the survey characters. Um, if you're like me and you saw the My Hero Academia characters, you saw certain names and you went, well, they're definitely getting in. So maybe, you know, certain other characters won't from this section. But Bleach kind of confirms that that doesn't matter. One Piece didn't have any survey characters in their event. Dragon Ball had one. Yu Yu Hakusho had one. Fist of Northside didn't even get an event, but they got a character. And then they got Sava, but he's not actually playable. And then for Bleach, three out of the four characters added, and I don't think Momo was even good, like was even in contention to get added. Um, but I don't know. I, for for me, like I saw that list and I was like, well, Hitsugaya is the like as far as I know, Hitsugaya was the most popular character in Bleach for a long time. Um, and then Uryu, Ishida, and Renji, like you can't not have them. Saying that. You can't not have them two. For some reason, you can not have Chad. What the fuck is that shit? He'll come along eventually, I'm sure. Um, I don't know in what context. He might even be a part of this event, just not a part of what we know so far. Um, I do hope we see him, though. Um, the first big event, Catastrophe Ukiora. This event now has a lower difficulty, so everyone should at least be able to get a copy of him. Well, I say everybody, most people should be able to get a copy of him. Getting the costume for being the top difficulty might be another story. This is what I was talking about. I have a feeling Limited Ichigo is going to counter this event quite hard. Um, but it, in most cases with the catastrophes, they're not that complex. Because the Limited units are kind of just, in order for them to, you know, um, be more worthwhile over a longer period, they aren't particularly specific in their skill sets they're just kind of like really strong and i have a feeling that's what ichigo is going to be so if that is the case pretty much any strong red units will probably do quite well against okiora your opportunity to get the costume not that the costume's a big deal it's just a green aura but a lot of people will want to at least get it and i can understand i'm going to want to get it as well it shouldn't be that bad Worst case scenario, if you have just one half decent red unit, you should be able to put together um, a co-op team. Maybe join a co-op online, maybe join a co-op in a Discord, and you should be able to beat it. Um, I, I saw people doing it free to play with um, Nefapito. Probably going to be the same here. Um, maybe Yujo Man or someone like that. Just max out a good red unit and get stuck in. Um, Transcendent Grimjo, I'm happy he's in the game, I'm happy he's Transcendent, so he's going to be easy to get, he's going to be a 99 luck. Him and Xanthus are going to be my two really, like, um, really favoured red 99 luck characters. I like Sugumi as well, actually. I could have a team full of red 99 lucks, I wish that was something, I wish there was some utility to that. Uh, beyond one, it's just pointless, sadly. Um, I'm happy he's in the game, he's going to be quite easy to get for most people. Um, 
and Tyr Harry. Ha <sighs> Fuck, I can't roll my R's. Tyr Haribel is going to be the beginner character, which is nice. I think I don't know if I'd say they've learnt from their mistakes necessarily, because they do normally do give out a quite easy 99 luck, but these beginner stages are super easy. So everybody's going to be able to get Haribel 99 luck, and I mean, good. For, that's great. Good for them. I. It's, it, isn't it awesome? Moving on. Uh, Hueco Mundo Gacha. This is another one of those free gachas. I have a feeling it's going to be very similar to the Terracotta Megumi Gacha with the uh, silver coins, and you just keep pulling for her. You'll get scrolls, you'll get jump souls, you'll get books, and you'll also get copies of Nell. And you can just farm her up to 99 luck, which is pretty cool. Hopefully. It might be similar to the um, Himeko Gacha where that wasn't really the case, but I'm hoping that it will be similar to the Tadakura and Megumi one, because that one was was so much better. Um, this stage is just going to be like a... Uh, I, I don't know what you'd call it, like a initiator stage. You beat this stage to unlock all the other stages. Um, Byakia is coming back. He has a lower difficulty now for everybody, so... You can still do the ultimate stage, you'll have a better drop rate on there. I think it's 100% drop rate on ultimate. Um, but he'll also have the lower transcendent difficulty. And most people should be able to beat that. Um, with a decent, again, similar to um, similar to Ukiura, a decent red. That'll do. Um, the defeat here Uncle Gacha, which has been on for a little while now. It might be over by now, I'm not sure. Uh, pretty decent Gacha if it is still on. Pop is a really awesome unit. Um, and to be honest... Uh, out of those lot, I mean, would you really say any of them are weak? Boston's maybe a little bit more, a little bit weaker. Um, Tanjiro's maybe a little bit niche, but other than that, fantastic banner. Um, same with this returning heroes gacha. Um, I'm not going to be pulling on it because I do want Reborn, and I wouldn't mind Subasa or Taro, but dupes of Kaneko Man and Suna would not really be great for my account. Um, this is the Bleach Gacha ticket I was talking about. We're supposed to be getting one of these from the stream. I don't know how many we're going to be getting total. I don't many, know how many you're going to need to do summons. I don't know how it's going to work, but Bleach Gacha ticket. Hopefully we don't all pull Rukias, even though we almost definitely will. Um, we also have a free daily summon coming up. I mean, it speaks for itself, free daily summon. The one thing that does need to be said is this is an updated Gacha pool free daily summon. But chances are you're getting silvers and, and golds pretty much the whole event. Um, this is unimportant, this is to do with the, uh, the tutorial, so that's nothing really. And that's pretty much covered all the key points, all I really have to say is, I think there's going to be more to this event in the coming days. Um, we'll, either, we'll either see that in the live stream, or we'll see that in the next data download, or we'll see it on the website, but I think there'll be more to come from this event. Um, I think we really can't be far off 5 million downloads. Um... And as for the, as for I, I should say the things missing from the Bleach event. I'm pretty sure Eisen is going to be one of the things missing, and a login campaign. We know there's going to be a login campaign because there is a model or a sprite for login Rukia, so in theory should be a login campaign with her. Um, she's not going to be a new unit. That just means that she's going to show up on the login screen. Um, and as for, I don't know. As for going forward, we know the anniversary is at the end of March. Um, and we know there should be a story event in February, at least one in February. And there should be one in March as well, possibly to coincide with that anniversary. Um, so if Bleach isn't really your thing, might be an idea to save. Um, and I have a feeling we're going to get a few new heroes banners, sp banners sprinkled in between. Which, for me, is like the big draws. As much as I love Bleach, as much as I am definitely going to do a few pulls here, I'm not going to go ham because the new Heroes banners are really, really my favourites. Um, so, unless we get a Kotekyo Hitman Reborn or Kaneku Man event anytime soon, I don't want to go too hard. Uh, but we'll have to... You know, we'll, we'll have to see what they have planned. I have a feeling for Anniversary we are going to get Slam Dunk and it is going to be the first series added to the game with a story event. Um, without having some prior stuff added. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next video.